So the next thing we have to do is transfer our crab into isometric. So what I'm going to think about is the crab has been, been within a squared effectively. So I don't have to divide this, so I'll draw it on the uh, actual sheet. But the crab's going to be within a square, and you could almost grid this up in order to help transfer it onto the grids later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sheet of A6 paper, which you remember a staff will have, then I'm just going to put a thin line of glue down one side. This will enable us to lift it up. And then from there, I can just flip it, line it up over the paper, and stick that down. So you can just see the grid coming through, but then it's not the dominant feature anymore. So from there, I'm going to find a start point. So I'm going to start down here where I've got lines running off in the different directions. And if I have a look at this one up here, it's probably about five or six centimetres across and a similar height. So I'll count on the squares. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll come across to there. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll come up. I'll just draw that up as being a square for a start. Once I've got the square for there, if I look proportionally, again we're probably looking at about, if it's five high that will be about three up there. So the middle of the top of the crab is going to come to about there on here. So obviously three high and then we're going to have the legs down there. So at this point, draw up where the middle of the crab's body is going to go. Now you'll be able to obviously move your paper around a little bit easier than I can because I'm trying to keep it under the camera but normally I'd be moving this paper all over but that's going to uh, make you a little bit seasick if you're watching it as a video so just bear with me. So I've got the first part of it, just drawn that in there then looking at the claws and again what I can do from there is I know the claws are roughly running up in this vicinity again we're just sketching on so we're doing some crating even on the isometric paper the isometric paper is just here as a guide to help you. I'm actually going to come slightly off to the side there just because I must have set the, uh, the body slightly out of line but it doesn't matter because I'm just trying to get things roughly laid up on the paper and using it to help you draw 3D. Just move that back a, a touch. So that's reasonably neat now. I'll just use a rubber just to tidy up around the edges there. From there I can then get the earbuds on. I'm just going to worry about where the front of them would go at the moment before I try and make it look 3D. So again drawing up in ovals and we can add the legs on then so again we'll just sit the legs on as being flat at this stage so got the basics there of our isometric crab We'll just put the claw in there at the top. So this stage is very, very similar to what we've done above. We're just slightly moving the angles round, going from that flat above to onto an angle. Now the easiest way of making this look 3D from there, I'm just going to remove the box from the side of it. So just thicken up the material then. So we're going to see predominantly in isometric, we're going to see a little bit of edge coming in from that side. I'm going to see a little bit of a top angle. We won't see anything at this side or anything underneath. So using the lines running off as a guide, if I step that back there where that leg goes, step that back there where the arm joins, and what I'm doing is I'm just tracking parallel lines. Won't see that bit in there because it's going to be slightly overlapped, I'll see a little bit there, I'll see a little bit in there claw, I'm going to see some of the claw around there but then it's going to disappear behind 
claw there. Draw that bit on, on the top and that's going to run round to where that claw starts. See a little bit of that claw around there. So again, it's always which edges you would see. The moment they disappear behind, they're gone. So, got pretty much a 3D crab there. And then we can worry about the slightly more complex bits of drawing the earphones in. And again, just going to try and make these look about right in terms of shape because it's not going to be an easy shape to draw. mouth on there. We've got very much an isometric crab. From there we can actually go over this with a fine liner and add a little bit of colour next.